Welcome everyone on my channel. My name is Martin Mikus and today is one of the most exciting videos probably in the last few weeks. As you know, I was extremely hardworking. I made a, a lingerie swimwear retouching course. I put my actions on sale and today I'm putting another product on sale and this time it's not actions. It's not the thing just for photography, but this time is for photography and your videos. I'm putting on sale 12 of my customized LUTs for your images and the videos. And I don't want to sound really arrogant, but you know, I've been in retouching for the last few years. I'm doing a lot of uh, fashion work and these LUTs are based on the work I was actually doing. So the final results I was achieving doing some of my lifestyle jo job or retouching professional job are now customized in the one effect that you can just click and apply the effect on your photography or on your videos. I know it might sound weird because some people maybe are not familiar with LUTs, but I will try to explain you and present you in this video how to work with LUTs because we are going to work on one image. I will show you how to prepare the image and then apply the LUT to the image to enjoy the final results within seconds. So you can see my shop uh, right now on the screen. Uh, so there's action pack that I put on sale over 100 actions. If someone is still interested, uh, you can use coupon code YouTube 30 and the price will be $20. And the new product, which is LAT pack color grading classic, uh, the code YouTube 25 to get 25% discount. So the price only $15 for 12 customized LATs for the videos and photography. So let's get in. Uh, you will see the names of the lads. Uh, of course, uh, 12 lads, really short description. I'm not a huge fan of the description. And what I want to show you how to work with this and uh, after you get them, what to do with it. So first of all, once you once you get the lads, uh, for those who decide to get the lads, I understand not everyone will decide to get them, uh, but you will have this folder, Loot Pack Classic, unpack this and you will see this one. So let me open this. That will be 12, 12 lads over here. Let me make the selection. So, okay. And I'm gonna hit right and copy 12 items because there is 12 lats. And you can find them every time in your Photoshop in the Coral lookup. And then you need to locate where the lats are. But how we want to work, we want to put them all together straight away to your Photoshop. So anytime you just open Coral lookup, you will have everything in one place. So to do this, you need to go to applications and locate Adobe Photoshop and the version you have, of course, presets, 3D LUTs. And we have some of the LUTs here already that are in Photoshop. I, I, I need to be honest with you, these LUTs are not really good, the ones that are in Photoshop, as well as many others people who put their LUTs on sale, they're not really good. I test it a lot. So let me paste. And I need to use password. I even barely remember the password here. So let's skip this step. Once you drop all of the files into the folder with your 3D LUTs, they are already in Photoshop. So let's process to the Photoshop I'm going to open and I will show you where to locate them, how to use them. And then we are going to work on the image from the very beginning. We're going to do process and I will use the LUT to show you how to use this uh, creatively. One very important thing before you start, let's say you downloaded the LUTs and you work with Photoshop straight away, you open and there is no LUTs. Don't worry about this, just turn off the Photoshop, just close the Photoshop and open this again. The LUTs need to load to the Photoshop. So if your Photoshop was opened, you copied the LUTs that are probably not in Photoshop. So you just need to quit Photoshop, open it again. So to locate the LUTs, let's call it even filters for those who are not familiar with the LUTs. You can just hit Coral Lookup over here in Adjustments panel if you have it open. If not, just open the small icon on the bottom with your adjustments, find Coral Lookup, and you have 3D LUT file, load 3D LUT. So of course we have also the LUTs that are from Photoshop, 
but you can locate MyLads. Of course, it's alphabetical, so it's Amazonia, Autumn, Classic Worm, Classic Cube, my personal favorite Hunter, and others. Let's just use one um, to show you. Um, I'm gonna press Classic Worm, uh, nice and warm effect, and this is it. As you can see, one click, applying the contrast, the colors, what was done uh, within this lot. And this was simple, to be honest, I even didn't try on this image. And uh, this is not even my, my favorite lot. All of them are great, but of course, we all have our um, favorites. But I want to actually do the real work on the image, some of the creative work, and uh, then I can uh, show you a little bit more. So I did this image recently on my holiday with my girlfriend in Philippines. Um, nothing special, but really nice uh, sky over here. Um, just everything, very simple uh, composition on the image. And as you can see, I applied some of the camera settings. I improved the contrast just a little bit. I brought up the shadows, blacks, because I had this vignette over here. Uh, let me see if I did anything over here with hue, saturation, luminance. I took down just some uh, saturation from the blue. I took down some luminance. I adjust just a little bit hue, but basically barely any work. And also uh, one more thing. I was working with the scale over here. So this image was, was bigger. I zoomed this in. I straighten up using rotate over here. You can simply, as you can see, I wanted to have straight line on the background. So simple fixes, nothing really radical, a uh, very simple thing to do. And then I will open this as an object. So I'm pressing shift and opening this as an object. And we are finally in Photoshop. So what to do right now? Well, there is nothing more simple. So let me start how I work with the land in Photoshop. I'm opening the raw file and I already applied some of the adjustment. Let me reset the adjustment because I want to do everything from the beginning with you. And what I'm going to do here, well, I'm going to increase some contrast. I'm going to bring up some shadows because I have this vignette on the sides and I don't really like it. So I need to fix this. I will go to fix. Um, panel, I'm going to bring up this vignette, uh, this created not really nice uh, effect over here. Also, uh, hue, saturation, luminance, I want to darken the sky just a little bit and also take down some of the saturation. I don't really like the sky being too saturated, so I'm taking this down a little. And the one more thing, I will go to the transform tool. And I want to fix this. So the scale is not something I like. I want to zoom this in for the nicer perspective and also rotate this because the line on the background wasn't straight here. So I'm, I want the straight background. And this is the image. Like, as I said, I don't want to do too much in the camera because I don't want to be accused that, you know, the lines are not helping. So it's very basic adjustments. And then I'm going to open this as an object. And well, what we need to do now, let's apply our LUT. So I'm opening the color lookup. I'm going to LUT 3D and let me use my, my favorite LUT. Uh, and it, it might be your favorite as well, because I think this is the best LUT that is available now. I, I've been using other people LUTs and actions, anything. The effect that this LUT offers is unbeatable. So let's hit and this is our effect. It At first, the name for this was beach because it works great on the holiday images when you have clear sky and sand. But to be honest, it actually works great on every single image. Um, many LUTs work on one image, uh, but they don't go well with other images. So to prove my word, Let's try with different images. This is just a stock image. It's not even the raw, it's simple JPEG. Can you apply this to the JPEG? Of course you can. And I'm going to use the same, my classic cube. 
and look at this really nice soft effect that transformed this image in a really natural way. Of course, um, you can try other ones. Um, the one land I really like is the Royal, and this is based on actually one of the fashion retouch I do. Uh, we have some warm cubes. Of course, we have also very drastic uh, cubes uh, that I created, which will work better with the video and were inspired by some filmmakers job. Uh, for example, Hunter uh, is very strong um, lad having this green and yellow uh, color, something similar as in the like Fincher movie. So it will go really great uh, with your videos, some other soft ones as this lake uh, slightly washed out. And as I said, they work really great. Uh, to prove other image, let's uh, try again. I'm gonna to go with my classic one. And as you can see, this is just unbelievable how good this one light is. Um, but I'm giving you, of course, 12 different ones and you can check the results on different images. Uh, all of them offers absolutely amazing. Just look at this one, uh, how nice matte effect is applied with just one simple click. And um, other that I really like is the Dragon Lodge uh, land that I used before. Well, I used before it was, um, part of the retouch I did on YouTube with the color grading. So I believe the Dragon Lodge you might enjoy as well. And of course, landscape images, can it work on the landscape images? Of course. And not to mention videos, there will be separate um, video uh, that I will show you how it works on the videos, how it works in Premiere Pro. But this is highly selected. I made actually around 30 cubes. I removed the ones uh, that I thought are the weakest and put together 12 the best lads. They are not only color, but also contrast um, and other adjustments. They are more advanced than the actions because you can actually create the lads very selectively uh, for each and specific color. So for example, the saturate the oranges, the saturate the blues or saturate work with the light. So if you need something to improve your videos and your photography, um, the lads are the way to go. Now, of course, a few other drastic ones that will work for the on the summer images. And the most drastic ones is called Insta Harsh. Uh, it was inst inspired by some of the uh, Instagram profiles. As you can see, if you want your images to, to stand out, um, this is the one uh, to go. Uh, for your social media videos and photography. So I know it's not typical video, but instead of just tutorials, which I made really a lot on this channel, I want to give you something more. I want to give you um, actual effect. So with the video you can follow, you can copy with 20 minutes, but getting the lot or actions, you can have one click. We, not, we don't have time. And with one click, you can create the effect, you can share this with people and you can impress people. So I hope you enjoy. All of the links are in the description. Remember for the lads, uh, YouTube 25 for 25% 25 discount, YouTube 30 for the actions for 30% discount and enjoy, show your results. And I will see you in another Photoshop video.